Hi everybody and welcome to another Pescari Fly video. Today we're going to tie March Brown Jig Nymph. Quite a simple nymph to tie, very natural, very effective, but it uh, works all year round. I've had fish on it constantly over the years, been tying it for a long time. Um, was a very go-to nymph when I was up in the Wicklow Mountains, living when I was a young person growing up in the, on the Avonmore River. So good old favourite of mine, say quite easy to tie and very simple. So in the vise I have a size 18 Dahaku jig hook and I have a 3 mil slotted tungsten bead. And as usual I'm going to start off by adding in my Kevlar thread. Now for the tail of this fly we're going to use a little bit of partridge, natural grey partridge. Just take a pinch of it there and add it in on top of the just pinch, pull down top of the hook there. You can just adjust your lint, it's a little bit too much, like so. Secure it in well, tidy up those loose ends. And then we're going to add in our rib. A rib is medium copper, copper wire. Secured in well. The last thing you want is that pulling out. Now we're going to have a back on this fly and the back is going to be pheasant tail. So I've got about six or eight fibers. A nice long natural brown pheasant tail. And I'm going to tie them in by the natural ends directly on top of the fly. Like so. Just tidy up those there. And again, secured in well. The body itself is just a natural hair's ear dubbin, as always. This is more when you're applying your dubbing. Small pinch, build up your body properly. Let's just dub that on there nice and tight onto your thread. Back down to where you want your body to start. And just form a nice little body up along. Another little pinch of hairs here, just to get it up where I want it to be. Now this one's on a size 18, um, because I'm tying this, that I'm, this is a, an info I'm going to be using more in the, hopefully, late spring, summertime on the rivers, when they open up again. But uh, if I was tying this for March, April and March, it could be size 14, 16s, with 3.54 mil beads on it. Okay, so once we've got our back pulled up over, we're always making sure that all our fibers are not crisscrossing across the back, that they're nice and flat and in line. And then we can take our rib, one turn at the butt, and then come up and rib that hole back. Right up into that little crevice there. A couple of turns to secure the wire. Take the tension off the wire and put it back onto the trade and then securing that wire completely. Lovely. Take this long piece of pheasant tail and fold it back. Trap it in. We're not finished with that yet, just yet. Okay, we want a couple of little sets of legs here. So we have a little piece of partridge, natural grey partridge again. Just gonna Prepare it there now, even on both sides. Place it on top. Secure it in. And pull it back to your required length. Just to get that nice splay on them. Get it into position exactly what, where you want it, what length you want it. A fine point scissors, get in there and just tidy that up. Finished off, we're going to put a little bit of fox squirrel. This is our own fox squirrel dubbing you can find it on our website. Make sure you check us out for all your fly fishing and fly tying needs. 
If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to email us, phone us, send us a message on Facebook. So once we're in our fox squirrel, we're just going to pull that little thorax cover back over the top. Again, fine point scissors, get in there and trim it up. Now, for me and for the original pattern that I fished, that's it. I don't put any hot spot in this particular pattern. You can, you can put a hot collar thread in there if you wish. Um, but I, I, my original pattern, the one I have most confidence in, is a nice natural nymph. And uh, really, really simple, buggy little nymph, um, based on the March Brown nymph. And um, from the start of the season right through to the end of it, it's always been a productive nymph. Hope you enjoyed the time and hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check back in with us real soon. We're going to have lots more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.